Do you know what I like the most about the Chinese phone scene? It's that there are just so many brands in that part of the world that the companies always have to keep innovating to stay in the race. Joining us for this camera comparison will be the flagships of four of the biggest names in the scene. The Vivo X90 Pro Plus, the Huawei Mate 50 Pro, the Oppo Find X5 Pro, and the OnePlus 10 Pro. Let the facts speak. The first photo is all about white balance. Vivo gets full marks here while the others share the second place spot due to them having either a cooler blue or a warmer yellow outlook. In the second one, I think that both Vivo and Huawei have done a good job. I also like the photo of OnePlus at the beginning, but then realize how dark the dark parts of the photo were, which led to loss of details, so they'll be tied with Oppo as Oppo's image is once again warmer than needed. Image number 3 requires quite a bit of attention. It has the X90 Pro Plus and the Mate 50 Pro looking similar once again. The 10 Pro's photo is darker, which makes it harder to separate and differentiate between the many different objects, for example the subway sign and the church behind it. The Find X5 Pro's photo is also a bit dull and grey with regard to color, so a tie for third is in order. Next in line is a good friend from YouTube. I was walking around with Sam while we were trying to decide on where to shoot when we were approached by this guy saying that he knows me from YouTube. We found out that he runs a tech review channel in German called Texum. If you would like to show some love, leave a comment on one of his videos saying hi from Versus. I think that we look the best in the photo taken by the Oppo flagship as Vivo and Huawei are tied for second due to the yellow complexion of Huawei and the red skin tone of Vivo. The shadows in the OnePlus's photo are just too much, leaving it in last place. This is a nice view from one of the center points of the city and the photos are fairly similar and of good quality to get 4 points each. Image number 6 is my favorite for this comparison because the photos are just so different. Color accuracy and quality wise, I really like Vivo and Huawei. OnePlus also is a nice photo, but it's a little dull and my skin is too white, while Oppo has similar issues as well as messing up the colors a little and you'll be able to see this from my shoes being a bit too brown. Here, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Let's say I'm auditioning for the circus. The Mate 50 Pro is going to be my number one as I'm not quite content with the others. The X90 Pro Plus looked fine, until I notice that my head is kind of warped to a round shape and my skin tone is a bit too red so it will take second place. The 10 Pro has way too much sharpness but still looks better than the Find X5 Pro in terms of color and white balance. Lastly, some boy band poses on the train tracks for all the teenage girls out there. I was just about to give Huawei the first place finish for this image when I realized the tracks had too much of a green tone because of software interpretation. Vivo has less color but more color accuracy if you know what I mean. OnePlus is in a similar boat but Oppo is not as the image is too dark and lacking appeal, leaving it with only one point. It was too close for comfort with Vivo and Huawei going back and forth so the result is actually quite suited with both of them achieving a high of 30 points each. OnePlus came in third with 20 and Oppo was fourth with 18 points. Which phone do you think showed a better performance so far? Leave a comment with your opinions and you can also like and subscribe as we'll be unleashing the S23 Ultra very soon. Ultra wide is almost always a struggle with Chinese phones but Vivo and Huawei have made solid improvements in that area. The Mate 50 Pro will start off with 4 points with a lively photo while the X90 Pro Plus is second with 3 points due to a slightly washed out photo. The Find X5 Pro takes third because the 10 Pro warped my head to make it look squished. The standings for this image will go from left to right with Vivo taking first, Huawei and Oppo being tied for second and OnePlus taking last place. The main point of focus is once again the separation between elements in the frame in which everything on the 10 Pro's photo looks hazy and blended together while the X90 Pro Plus has been able to give us a photo with clear details. I'm gonna go ahead and give Vivo another 4 points for the next image. Nice colors and great dynamic range will be the main influence on my decision. I think Huawei's photo is slightly blurry but it still looks nicer than both the photos of Oppo and OnePlus as the former is too dark and the latter has a blown out background. In image number 4, our focus will be on how the cameras manage contrast. While Vivo and Huawei are able to portray the church walls with the most detail, Vivo will come out on top because how it manages to control the shadows inside of the church. As you can see, Huawei's photo is completely dark in the shadowy parts of the frame. This is why they will be tied with Oppo as OnePlus's photo is a little out of focus and also hazy. Lastly, 
Just don't ask me what I'm doing. I think the Mate 50 Pro's photo is beautiful, it's slightly saturated, but not too much. The X90 Pro Plus is close, as third place will go to the 10 Pro this time, with the Find X5 Pro's photo being low on saturation and almost grey. After all is said and done, Vivo is the winner with 18 points, as Huawei could also be considered a winner with 17. Oppo is third with 11, and OnePlus is fourth with only 7 points, and it seems that the newest phones of Vivo and Huawei are steamrolling their Chinese counterparts, but will it last? We'll have to see for ourselves. Portrait mode is a popular one as Oppo will get off to an early start with 4 points. Vivo is second because of how it changed the shape of my head and OnePlus is third as the shadows are uncontrollable. Huawei is unfortunately going to come in last as the software messed up my hair pretty badly. Umbrellas indoors, what am I thinking? Well, I'm thinking that Huawei is making a comeback with a first place finish. Vivo is second because my face looks pretty red and the software messed up ever so slightly on the stick of the umbrella. The same reasons why Oppo and OnePlus are tied for third because they absolutely obliterated the stick and it kinda looks like the umbrella is floating. Image number 3 is another tie for Vivo and Huawei as they were able to preserve even the small hair sticking out from my head. OnePlus takes third, while Oppo comes in fourth with a dark photo and not the best edge detection. The next image is pretty much a tie across the board, while one point will be deducted from Oppo as their habit of producing a slightly darker and grayer image is holding them back. Image number 5 is the same, as technology is not advanced enough to completely differentiate between all of the branches leaning into the frame. The X90 Pro Plus is the one to lose a point here though, because of my face looking red and flat. Nearing the end, I'm liking what I see if we keep Oppo out of the equation. 4 points for OnePlus here, 3 each for Vivo and Huawei as I look slightly dark on the X90 Pro Plus, and the lower part of my body is a little blurry on the Mate 50 Pro. Oppo will take 4th place with 1 point. Number 7 coming up. I honestly think that they all look fine and similar here, with unfortunately Oppo losing 1 point for the same issue as you've probably memorized by now. The last one is kind of the reflection of Oppo's performance in this comparison, which is disappointing to say the least. In less challenging circumstances, they did really well in our comparisons around one year ago, but maybe their newer model will be able to keep up with the times. Vivo, Huawei, and OnePlus are tied for first as Oppo gets last place. Another extremely close one, and it's hard to believe, but Vivo and Huawei are tied once again at 28 points. OnePlus showed up big time and got 26, while Oppo managed 19. I honestly don't know where this is going as we move on to video. What we're seeing on the screen doesn't happen often, but all of them look fine at the beginning. The main the difference between them is that the Vivo X90 Pro Plus is one step ahead with regard to preserving detail in the shadows. The OnePlus 10 Pro also has a small software based recognition issue at the end, which we will see in even greater detail in the second video. Notice how Vivo and Huawei choose to focus on me rather than the HDR because they realize I am way more important than the window behind me, giving them a tie for first place. This decision leads to the subject being really dark on the side of Oppo and OnePlus, and we believe it's an easy decision on which video is more usable. The software based recognition issue that I just talked about is amplified here for the 10 Pro as Oppo has the advantage of being consistent, rendering their footage way more usable. Vivo also seems to have the advantage in videos taken with the ultra wide camera as the initial experience is that Huawei is a bit dark, Oppo is quite grey and unappealing and OnePlus is slightly blurry. The points order will be Vivo, Huawei, OnePlus and Oppo for this one as we check out 8K. We actually can't do that for Huawei because they don't have one so 0 points. Same goes for Oppo, they don't have this feature, so once again, 0 points. Vivo has this feature, but it's extremely shaky so you should only use it with a tripod. They'll get 1 point. Not only does OnePlus have this feature, but it's surprisingly really good, but not perfect, so they'll get a 3 points out of 4. Overall, Vivo comfortably takes the first place spot with 13 points. Huawei is second with 10, OnePlus is third with 7, due to having one of the best 8K features that we've ever seen on a smartphone, and Oppo takes fourth with 6 points. In the zoom category, we'll start off with the optical zooms of each device so that you get a feel of how they look and how close they can get. It's not uncommon for photos with the zoom camera to have different values in the main camera, so keep that in mind. It's not really possible to differentiate between the first few levels. Usually, 5 times is where we see some big differences, but the object is very small this time, so let's go for 10 times. There is some noise on OnePlus, but a lot of it on Oppo. 20 times is where those two drop out of the race as we're looking to Vivo and Huawei to impress us. The neutral white balance and slightly better software accuracy shows on Huawei's side, and this is even more visible at 30 times. 
100 times is slightly better on Vivo, but this won't change the overall result as the Mate 50 Pro is a winner here, followed by the X90 Pro Plus, the 10 Pro, and the Find X5 Pro. It seems that Vivo does a way better job at zooming into larger objects, as they went head to head with the S22 Ultra when this was the case, but not this time. In the case of stabilization though, we might have some interesting results on our hands, as these phones have a billion different stabilization modes between them. What really caught my attention was that while they all look good enough in 4K with minimal stabilization, the story completely changed with active stabilization. Huawei is far ahead of the competition when I start running at high speed, as OnePlus will take a seat right behind it. Oppo has vibrations that degrade the quality, and Vivo is too shaky, so they will be tied for third. So I'm just thinking that we most likely will see big differences in the front camera category, especially in the video part. Vivo, Huawei, and OnePlus are tied for first place with regard to the first image, and we'll take one point away from Oppo because of how hazy the photo is. Huawei looks to be the best in the second image, while Vivo and Oppo are tied for second. OnePlus has completely whitened my skin, leaving it in fourth place. For portrait selfies, I really like the photo of Huawei, especially with the impressive HDR. Vivo and OnePlus are tied for second, and Oppo is fourth as my face is shining bright like a diamond. Getting up close and personal with no tricky conditions results in a close contest between all phones, but Huawei and Vivo just look a little better than Oppo and OnePlus, which is no surprise as their front cameras are newer and better. Chinese phones have always struggled with front camera video quality, as we see the software of the 10 Pro once again being inconsistent. The Find X5 Pro is too dark, the X90 Pro Plus is hazy, as the Mate 50 Pro is not amazing but still does the job. And now it's time for the audio test. Woo! Very exciting guys. We're gonna start off with the Vivo X90 Pro Plus over here. This is definitely one of the best phones that I have ever worked with and it's a really nice Android phone from China. The same goes for the next phone which is the Huawei Mate 50 Pro, also a top quality phone with a very nice camera indeed. And over here is the Oppo Find X5 Pro. It is a bit of an older model compared to the others, but we want to see how it stands up. And lastly, it's another one just like the Oppo Find X5 Pro. It's the OnePlus 10 Pro. The 11 is going to be out soon, but we're just going to see how well the 10 can measure up against these newer phones. My ears are telling me that Vivo has the best wind and noise reduction out of them all. Huawei's mic quality is also good, with Oppo not being the best, but still taking third due to a better performance compared to OnePlus. Meanwhile, the slow motion category is always fun, especially when I'm pulling a Ronaldinho. All phones have the same settings except for Huawei as you'll see later on. A point that I'd like to make is that the OnePlus 10 Pro and the Oppo Find X5 Pro have worse video quality than the other two. This becomes even more evident when we switch to 480 FPS at 720p as Oppo and OnePlus can't keep up with Vivo's video quality, and Oppo here especially looks noisy. Even though the frame rate capabilities of the phones are quite similar, Vivo gets the gold medal here with an overall better performance. OnePlus and Oppo are tied for second as even though the quality isn't great, they do have the option to shoot in 480 frames unlike Huawei's flagship. How good are they at getting really, really close to an object though? OnePlus is not good at all, as they did not put a macro mode or a lens on the 10 Pro, even though the 9 Pro had one. Interesting decisions. Huawei by far is able to get the closest, as Vivo and Oppo are pretty indistinguishable from each other, both with decent and usable macro modes. OnePlus is obviously out of the question here, so let's jump into autofocus and see if there are any visible issues. For the first time in a long time, there are. The Mate 50 Pro is not always focusing accurately, as the background stays in focus in a couple of tries. They are side by side with Vivo, just focus on them both and see the difference. One point across the board, except for Huawei, leaves us with night photos and videos. All four are contenders here, as OnePlus starts off with the four points. Huawei's photo is very crisp and clean, but the white balance is off and it's a bit too bright, giving it three points. Oppo and Vivo are tied for third with two points each. Huawei looks great in the second image, but it's once again randomly blurring objects close to the camera, in this case, the bike. OnePlus is continuing to step up as they've always performed at night, and Oppo is a close second. Vivo is off to a disappointing start as my face is getting red because I'm angry. They are last place after Huawei. Next up is one of my favorite posters around Berlin, but no idea why Oppo completely blacked out almost everything in the frame. The others look fine as we move on to number 4. OnePlus just continues to impress with another first place finish as Vivo bounces back and takes second. Not a fan of Huawei's or Oppo's photos as they are tied for third. 
Who is this dude? Ah, it's me! The OnePlus 10 Pro comes in clutch with the best color accuracy once again, and I think it's actually insane how OnePlus phones are so good at night in certain circumstances. The rest have their ups and downs, as they'll all be tied for second. Ultra White starts off with a tie between the X90 Pro Plus, the Mate 50 Pro, and the 10 Pro. Oppo was one point reduced due to being slightly darker. Next image, Vivo and OnePlus just look better and more consistent. Oppo gets two points as Huawei gets one due to being blurry. The same points can be applied to the last Ultra White photo, as even though the Find X5 Pro's photo is dark, it looks sharp and stable compared to the Mate 50 Pro. Oppo's flagship is my phone of choice for the first video, as this footage is just really good. Vivo and OnePlus are tied for second, as Huawei Huawei's video is sharp when looking at things close to the camera, but is blurry when looking far away. For ultra-wide, Oppo is impressing us once again with a very solid performance. Vivo is second, OnePlus is lacking, but is still third due to Huawei shooting in complete darkness. We've arrived at the end of the Great Wall of China. Vivo and Huawei are the winners of the photo category as Vivo barely edged it out on ultra-wide, getting that extra point. For portrait mode, it was once again a tie between Vivo and Huawei as Vivo looked to be outperforming the others in videos. Zoom went the way of Huawei, as well as stabilization and front camera. Audio and slow motion both both go Vivo's way as macro was taken by Huawei, but they lost out on autofocus with some software issues. Lastly, OnePlus was the winner of the night category with amazing photo performance, but shout out to Oppo for taking great videos even in these dark conditions. Tell us what you think about these phones and this comparison, and it also wouldn't hurt to like and subscribe to support our efforts. See you guys around.